Imagine this. You wake up in the morning but your knees feel stiff. Walking to the kitchen feels like climbing a mountain. Millions of older adults know this pain well. It's osteoarthritis, the slow erosion of joint cartilage. For decades, the only long-term solution was joint replacement surgery. But what if I told you scientists in Germany have developed an injectable gel that could regrow your cartilage naturally, without surgery, implants, or long hospital stays? Today we're diving deep into this groundbreaking discovery. We'll uncover how this bioactive gel works, what early trials are showing, why experts are calling it the future of orthopedic medicine, and also what limitations still remain. Stay tuned, because by the end you'll understand why some doctors are calling this the beginning of a new era in joint healing. The growing crisis of joint disease. Let's start with the problem. Osteoarthritis is one of the most common chronic conditions in the world. It happens when the cartilage, the smooth cushion between your bones, gradually wears away. Without cartilage, bones rub together, causing pain, stiffness and swelling. More than 500 million people worldwide live with osteoarthritis. By the age of 60, at least one in three adults has some degree of it. By 70, more than half do. And unlike injuries that heal, cartilage damage almost never repairs itself. That's why it has been such a huge challenge for medicine. Traditional treatments have focused on symptom management, painkillers, anti-inflammatory injections, physical therapy. For severe cases, joint replacement surgery, knees, hips, shoulders. While these surgeries can restore movement, they also come with major downsides. Long recovery, risk of infection, artificial implants that eventually wear out, and the possibility of revision surgery years later. So the big question for scientists has always been, can we find a way to actually regrow cartilage instead of replacing it with metal or plastic? The breakthrough? Germany's injectable gel. That brings us to Germany. A team of scientists and biomedical engineers have been developing a bioactive hydrogel, essentially a jelly-like substance, that can be injected directly into damaged joints. Unlike traditional injections like hyaluronic acid, which mainly lubricate the joint, this gel is designed to rebuild the tissue itself. The gel is made of three critical components, collagen fibers, to mimic the natural structure of cartilage, growth factors, biochemical signals that encourage cells to multiply and repair tissue, stem cell attractants, compounds that call the body's own stem cells into the damaged area. When injected into a worn-out joint, the gel spreads and forms a flexible scaffold. Think of it like scaffolding on a building under repair. It gives stem cells a place to attach, grow and organize. Layer by layer, new cartilage begins to form. What makes it remarkable is that the gel adapts to movement. As you walk, bend or exercise gently, the gel flexes and strengthens, guiding the new tissue to behave like real cartilage. Over time, the gel naturally biodegrades, leaving behind healthy, functional joint tissue Clinical results, what the trials show. Now let's talk results. In early clinical trials conducted in Germany, patients with moderate to severe osteoarthritis were given injections of this gel. Within 60 days, imaging scans showed visible signs of new cartilage formation. Even more importantly, patients reported significant pain relief, improved mobility and less swelling. One patient, a 62-year-old runner who had been told he needed a knee replacement, was able to return to light jogging after three months of treatment. Another, a woman in her late 50s who struggled with stairs, reported that she could climb without holding the railing for the first time in years. Pain scores dropped by more than 50% in many cases. Range of motion improved. And the best part? None of the patients required surgery and there were no serious side effects reported. For comparison, current therapies like cortisone injections might reduce pain temporarily but they don't rebuild tissue. Hyaluronic acid injections may help with lubrication, but again, they don't regrow cartilage. This gel is the first therapy that appears to combine symptom relief with actual regeneration. Why this is different from surgery? You might wonder, how is this better than joint replacement? After all, artificial joints work fairly well. The answer is that this gel avoids the risks and limitations of implants. Joint replacement is a major surgery. Recovery can take months. 
there's risk of infection, blood clots and implant failure. Artificial joints also don't last forever. Most knee or hip replacements wear out after 15 to 20 years, sometimes sooner for active patients. That means younger patients often face a second surgery later in life. With the gel, there's no cutting, no hospital stay, no metal or plastic inside your body. The body does the healing itself. Because the gel simply provides a scaffold and then dissolves, there's no long-term foreign object left behind. That's why experts say it could be especially game-changing for younger patients, athletes, and those who want to avoid surgery altogether. The science of regeneration. Let's go a little deeper into how it works. Cartilage is made of specialized cells called chondrocytes. These cells live in a dense network of collagen and proteoglycans. The problem is, cartilage has almost no blood supply. That's why when it's damaged, the cells can't get enough nutrients or signals to repair themselves. The German gel essentially tricks the body into restarting this process. The growth factors in the gel send out chemical messages that say, build cartilage here. Stem cell attractants draw mesenchymal stem cells, cells capable of becoming cartilage, from nearby bone marrow. Once they arrive, the collagen fibers in the gel act as a map, showing them how to line up and form new tissue. It's like planting seeds in fertile soil. The gel provides both the soil and the fertilizer. The body provides the seeds. Together they regrow the lost cartilage. Benefits beyond cartilage. Interestingly, researchers noticed something else. Patients reported less inflammation even before significant regrowth had occurred. That's because the gel also has anti-inflammatory properties. It calms the immune response in the joint, reducing swelling and stiffness. That means it's not just about long-term repair. Many patients could feel relief within days or weeks of the injection. For someone with daily knee pain, that's life-changing. And because the gel is biodegradable, it doesn't accumulate or cause rejection. Once healing is complete, the gel simply dissolves, leaving only healthy tissue behind. Safety and limitations. Of course, no treatment is perfect, and this is where we need to be careful. While the early trials are promising, larger studies are still needed. Regulators in Europe are reviewing the data, but approval is not expected until 2026. That means it's not available yet in regular clinics. Another limitation is that it may work best for patients with mild to moderate cartilage loss. In cases where the joint is completely destroyed, there may not be enough structure left to rebuild, so joint replacement may still be necessary for the most advanced cases. Cost is another unknown. Innovative biologic therapies often start out expensive. Whether insurance will cover it remains to be seen. A glimpse into the future. Still, the potential is enormous. Imagine a future where instead of replacing joints with artificial materials, we help the body rebuild its own, where a simple injection could prevent decades of pain and disability. Orthopedic experts believe this could be the first of many regenerative therapies. Similar gels are being studied for spinal discs, tendons, even heart tissue. The idea is the same. Give the body the right environment and it can heal itself. Germany is currently leading the way, but labs in the US, Japan and South Korea are also racing to develop regenerative gels. It's very possible that within the next decade, surgery will become the last resort, not the first option, for joint problems. What this means for you. So what should you do today if you have joint pain? First, don't wait until the damage is severe. Lifestyle habits like maintaining a healthy weight, exercising regularly, and eating an anti-inflammatory diet still matter. Treatments like physical therapy, supplements, and low-impact exercise can help preserve cartilage you still have. Second, stay informed. New therapies like this gel are on the horizon. Talk to your doctor about clinical trials in your area. Ask about regenerative medicine options. The more proactive you are, the better your chances of benefiting from these breakthroughs. Finally, remember this. Science is moving fast. 20 years ago, joint replacement was the only option. 10 years ago, stem cell therapy was experimental. Today, we're talking about gels that can regrow cartilage in just 60 days. The future of joint health is brighter than ever. So there you have it. A revolutionary gel from Germany that could heal joints naturally. No surgery, no implants, just the body rebuilding itself. 
Clinical results show cartilage regeneration, pain relief, and restored mobility in weeks. While it's not widely available yet, approval is expected by 2026, and this could mark the beginning of a new era in orthopedic medicine. Which part surprised you most? The speed of regrowth, the anti-inflammatory benefits, or the fact that it could one day replace surgery? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this fascinating, give this video a like, subscribe for more science-backed health updates, and share it with someone who struggles with joint pain. Because the future of healing might not be metal or plastic. It might just be your own body, guided by science, regenerating itself.